What up, guys, and welcome to The Coffee Shop. This is your host and barista, Eric, and uh, this is just a quick update, literally just a few minutes. You all know about the video that I shot and uh, uploaded yesterday. It's about the Mass Effects moving average going uh, smart money concepts, right? Um, if you want to catch me on trading view and ask me some questions like talk to me even if you need some like you know you need some mentoring stuff like that you know I'm more than happy to help you guys out so go to trading view and hit me at coffee shop crypto i'm trying to type this in the dark right you can see my camera is off <laughs> okay and uh yeah just, so what i what i feel like i want to do is like the development of this um smart money concepts um indicator that i'm doing as the mass effects is really really like it's doing some groundbreaking stuff to the point of where i'm actually trying to do things in the code that pine script is not ready for so i have to keep figuring these workarounds to make it work you know for example i wanted to give you guys the opportunity to choose whether you can see uh liquidity in the market you can see the pivots are turned off right now right and this is related to the video that i uploaded yesterday um, talking about this tool as, as you know, in great detail of what I wanted to do. Uh, what I wanted you to do is I wanted you to be able to go into the settings, right? I wanted you to be able to go into the settings. And I wanted you to be able to simply only see um, swing trading liquidity or day trading liquidity, intraday or scalping liquidity. Like I wanted you to be able to choose one or the other, right? Without having to see all of it. But as it turns out, I found that it's better depending on your trading style. If you can select more than one. So let me turn off the scalping for now, right? It's a little SC drawn out here. It doesn't do it automatically. I just put it here so you could see what it is, right? So this is actually liquidity that would be in scalping time frame. So I'm looking at a five minute chart, but since I am on a five minute chart, I don't want to miss the liquidity of higher time frames, which is important. Now, when you're doing a pivot indicator, you cannot set a multi time frame. You can't do that. So you have to do other things. PineScript does not allow you to do that, right? So uh, that being said, what we're looking at here, this is swing trading liquidity, okay? I'm on a five minute chart and this is the liquidity left in the market from swing trades right now, okay? Uh, but you can see that uh, on the five minute chart, I don't have scalping time, uh, scalping liquidity turned on, so you can't see it. So if you go back into the settings, right? I turn on the scalping, now I can see both. I get the scalping liquidity here and it's showing up here and here and these really small moves. Like there's this really small rejection moves to the market. So you can see like every time you get a swing point, right? You get a new pivot or whatever the case may be. You get a pivot and then you get a higher low, which is a failed low. You can immediately target that liquidity. But you know that um, if you hit this liquidity and break above a previous high, then you're going further because it's scooped up liquidity and it's going to continue moving. So that's that's usually how the theory behind this works, right? And you can see how this works out very well because here was a previous pivot up here, right? Let's just kind of zoom into that. So no one can say that these uh, liquidity lines are um, pivots. They're not pivots. If they were pivots, then it wouldn't be drawing out where they draw out, right? Um, so anyway, you can see that there was liquidity left in the market, but your pivot is up here. So price dances around, does what it does. You get a new swing low, high, new higher low. So you got price action moving up. Once you see this, you could target this liquidity, right? But the first candle that closes above this liquidity also breaks the pivot. So you know that you can keep moving up. And however you want to do it, go for your low and grab your Fibonacci tool, go all the way up to that uh, pivot break line right there put the white line on it right go all the way up there and you can immediately keep going like to take profit two, take profit three whatever you want to do right that would have been a really nice move so i just wanted to just give you guys a quick update to let you know that coming uh one of the things coming with this indicator is that it will be able to plot for you all levels of liquidity and show it to you on every single time frame in your chart right so right now i'm looking at a five minute and i can see scalping and swing trading liquidity but i can also turn on the day trading and intraday uh, liquidity as well and you can see like these have now shown up 
There's a few more showing up here, and they'll be colored differently. I'll have these little labels showing up for what they are. This will be scalp. This will be swing trade, right? And then, uh, you know, this will be intraday, whatever it is. So you'll know that it's relative to what you're looking at. And uh, yeah, so there you go. That's what's happening, right? Just want to let you guys know about the development of this script. Hope you enjoy. Peace out from the coffee shop. I'll be back maybe tomorrow, right, with another frothing brew, something barista for you. Later.